Military veterans have to wait for an upgrade to the VA's electronic health record system. The agency underestimated the cost for the modernization effort by billions of dollars. Now it must completely overhaul its training and deployment schedule. Mike Gooding tells us lawmakers are not happy. As I have said before, the electronic health records and modernization program is too important to get wrong. The Department of Veterans Affairs $16.1 billion electronic health records modernization project has gotten intense scrutiny from Congress, in part because of the cost and scope of the project and in part because of past expensive failures. In a report released earlier this month, the VA's inspector general found that the department is not giving sufficient training to medical staff on the new electronic health record system it is rolling out across the country. I must say that while the report proposes some bold changes, it raises more questions than it answers. The inefficient training has led staffers to have a lack of trust in the system, a survey included in the report found. VA staff across the country have performed heroically to serve veterans. The last thing we should be doing is making the jobs of frontline workers harder. House Veterans Affairs Subcommittee on Technology Modernization members expressed deep frustration over the lack of progress and the squandering of money. But low standards and low expectations do not belong in the Department of Veteran Affairs. Not when our veterans' well-being is on the line. Not when billions of taxpayers' dollars are on the line. And the numbers seem to be going up each and every day. Mike Gooding, 13 News Now. Despite all of the problems, though, VA Secretary Dennis McDonough has said the department will stay the course with the strategy to modernize.